So here's a quick demo. I have this little piece of basswood here. I'm going to show you a few basic cuts. It's a very simple project. All you need is one knife. You can also get a V gouge. It'll help a lot. So here we go. So basically I'm going to define the neck and the front end first. So I'm going to carve the head out. First cut, I'm just going to dig in. See that on this side? And whatever I do to this side, I'm going to try to replicate on the other side as well, even though I don't have a drawing on this side of it. But it won't matter because we could just eyeball it and see what happens. So the first cut was dug in and then all you do is if you've seen my other videos just push in the blade into that area and then you could dig in again and that it would be removed so now you have this shape here and you can do the same thing on this side You know, make sure your knife is sharp in order to make these clean cuts. Um, if your knife isn't sharp, you run the risk. Uh, there's a greater risk of it slipping and then injuring you. Now for this area where the head is here, I'm just going to be carving by pushing against my thumb or you could push against the blade just to remove that on both sides there. Now with this wood, you don't necessarily need to worry about the grain as much and the grain direction. It is a very tight grained wood. Um, it also cuts very easily because it's fairly soft. So um, the grain is running in that direction anyways, so it is a, a little easier to cut. You could turn your hand in this position and you just use your thumb. Now if you want to see what actually is happening, my thumb is nowhere near the blade as I pull towards. If my thumb was here, I run the risk of cutting myself. Make sure to keep your thumb away as you're cutting so there's no risk of it actually hitting your thumb. And you just refine that. And just creating that shape on both sides. If you can see what that looks like there. If I wanted to get to this portion, I do the same thing there. Very basic shape here. So this this part of the carving is called roughing out and what you want to do is just get it as close as possible to the outline. Now from here what I'm doing is I'm pressing down on the spine of the knife to create an, a knife line on that area and then I just I can turn it around hold it this way push or I can hold it this way again far enough away that even if I do slip there's no way I'd hit myself so that's very important um, or you could just push down this way right to that line and then just refines that area. So there's a lot more that needs to be removed. I'm going to do that just by hogging away as much as is necessary to get to that point. 
make sure to keep checking where your reference lines are so you don't over cut because once you cut you can't really go back that's fairly close so now we're going to refine this area here and that's the same thing just pushing against again make sure that as you push the knife is not in line with your fingers this is a very sharp knife you could cut yourself so be sure that the knife is nowhere near any fingers so i'm working fairly quickly because i'm used to using it as you can see here there's no way my knife would hit my thumb as i'm doing it so again follow your so you see the head starting to take shape and i'm going to start roughing out the rest of it and you basically just take again dig in and carve in You see that again dig in and carve in here I'm using my thumb to push into that area here um, that's just another way of doing it you could also turn it and then carve in this way same two principles as before now for this area here there's two ways of doing it again you could push in and then carve or I'm working standing on a table and what you could do is you could just run your knife making a line this way you don't risk cutting yourself because you have the table let's say you go far you hit the table it's not a big deal or you could push in that won't give you as deep of a cut but you'll get there eventually and then you just do the same thing. So the line you created acts as a stop. So you don't go past it as you push. So you don't push too hard. It's a very soft wood. And the line basically stops your cut for you. And then you can just refine it by pushing down and removing the pieces. And you just continue to round it out, taking that shape. Now let me show you just a quick little trick here. In order to get the proper height on both sides, I just use my finger here as a fence, and line up my pencil to where I want it, and just draw a line. Same thing on this side. Again, this is just a reference, so I don't go past it on both sides, so that I know that this is the top portion. All of this will be removed, so this entire area will be removed. The same can be done for this side. This is the area, this is how far down I want to go. So I take my pencil and my finger and just use my finger as a fence. So I can't, you see that stops my pencil from going any further. And that's the line. And then here's the same thing. So I know that I don't want to go below that when I'm cutting. So that's my stopping point for the tail.